Hello, so we are back Tuesday and uh, we have many jobs here. Before we start, just a small update. So, I think I was wrong with the um, with, uh, with the helium thing here. Yeah? Because I checked the antenna, every antenna based on the discovery. Yeah, they have an app discovery where you have your antenna send a signal. And whoever hear your hotspot, they will send over the internet uh, the response. And that's not what do you want, because you send a signal and some access point, some hotspot, sorry, they can hear you. But that doesn't mean you can hear them. And it's a big difference, yeah. So right now we are on uh, with uh, I replaced the Yagi antenna with an omnidirectional antenna, 4.5 decibels, and um, we are about the same, you know. That's surprising. So instead of of getting the the, the hotspots from far away, I'm starting getting more hotspots around me. So now I have a big issue, but. I will do a video about this, yeah? We will test the antenna again. We will test base, based on what the antenna can hear, not on or what on the antenna can send, yeah? That will be a future video. Let's get concentrated. You have a few jobs. But meanwhile, let's leave this laptop on one side. Let's have a look on this one. This job, oh, sorry, this job came with water damage. So what you are doing on a water damage first time? I mean, what you are doing on a water damage job, where you actually cannot see water damage, but you have the sign, you have the you have the red sign there, yeah? You can see the water damage thingy. So actually, I cannot see water damage here. I can see here like a little bit of, uh, like a spot, but I checked under the microscope the connectors, and they are fine. So what do we check next? Next, we take the power supply. Yeah, and we check if the board is shorted. Ground, you can get the ground from anywhere, like a screw. And plus on the battery. Because uh, usually that's what happens on the water damage. You get a shorted board. So you can see here. So the limit is like one amp, the voltage 0 0.8 and here 0. Point, okay. So here is the plus and we have a short. You can see it's taking like one amp because that's the limit is one amp and uh, it's short, that's short, you know, that's, it will never work. So let me pass the phone to my colleague Christian to take out the board and uh, we'll see what's the problem, yeah? Give me one second. Okay, good. Let's open this one. This is an easy job, a charging port. We took out all the screws, good. This is the second charging port today. Wow, this battery is fat. You know what? I'm surprised. So right now, uh, we are on thirty-one dollars per day. In the last thirty day, we made one thousand two hundred forty-four. You remember, we took out around six hundred fifty pound. But I'm surprised because when I start, you remember our goal is like fifty dollars per day. And to reach this goal, we really have to understand how this works. And I got on a point where um, I was missing, like looking on the map, and you can see actually what hotspots they can hear you and what spots you can hear. So I, I, would, I was missing a lot of hotspots around me with the Agi antenna. And I say, you know what? Let's try with the omnidirectional antenna. Because I have a lot of hotspots even around me. 
and it's working surprisingly good. Of course, this antenna, it will not get us to reach the goal, the $50 per day. But anyway, I start reconsidering what I said, you know, being the worst antenna, omnidirectional antenna. I start reconsidering this. So, can be like the, obviously, it's, this is my case. Can be like the omnidirectional, it's not actually the worst uh, idea. It depends of the situation, depends what you are looking to reach. And what I'm looking to reach is the hot was around me and the one far away. So somehow we need to reach these two things, yeah, to get the around me hotspots and the one which they are far. But none of these antennas, like none, even the Yagi or even the omnidirectional antenna, it will not help me to reach this goal, yeah, to get the hotspots around me and to get the hotspots far away from me. So we need another solution, like a middle uh, solution. But I'm not sure yet what solution will be perfect. Okay? It's just we need a little bit more planning. And we have to test more antenna. And actually I did order one more antenna. But this is interesting stuff. Let's take the, the charging port out. I don't know if we have this charging port here. Okay, the charging port has a shield here. It's supposed to take out the motherboard, but I'm not gonna do it because that will be too long. Oh, I have to do it because the shield. Ah, oh, you can't see anything. I can't believe. Oh, merci, Christy. Okay, so we have the the seven board. Ah, uh, you can't see. It. So the shield goes behind of the hinge. I can't believe. Okay, so we have the seven board. Let me ask my colleague. Christy, do I let the ecran the pestel? Okay, so my colleague didn't took out the stickers. So that's how the phone was without the stickers. So someone, possible, tried to fix this before. Let's see. Let's leave the laptop on one side and let's get concentrated on this, on this job. Let's have a look on the board first. So even if this was open before, so they clean it or what? Huh? I think they clean it. And look here. You see, these are rusty, but no, no sign of rust. So I believe someone cleaned this board before. This is what I believe. Hmm? What do you think? Okay, so this is iPhone 7. If I remember on iPhone 7, this is our first MOSFET from here, this one. I think. I think. So let's come with voltage. I believe that's the first MOSFET, but I'm not sure. I haven't fixed from long time iPhone 7. Uh, board view software, which I don't have. A not board view. What's the call of that software? I reinstalled my Windows and I haven't installed that software. Okay, so we don't have schematic. Uh, let's check with my beeping multimeter and see where the plus is going. 
that's ground that's plus okay so on the plus if you check with the multimeter let me check let me get the on-screen multimeter <clears throat> you see that's what i told you always you know so you have a battery connector and you are about to check the connector for short go diode mode or ohms whatever you want so check here on this pin this big pin is zero that's ground and the other pin it's not zero it's not short and you will think oh here is no short but no if you come with the power supply and you go again there on the plus and you see it's a short yeah it's a different story when actually you uh, you check with the power the power supply is very helpful so what i'm saying okay let's check let's, let's follow the plus but if i remember the plus is coming yeah i believe it's coming here yeah so let's have a look together i actually believe this is uh what is it the capacitor the capacitor is on the main power rail this capacitor but we can check because what we have shorted here is the main power rail but the main power rail is not on the battery connector from the battery connector is coming to this mosfet and then you have the main power rail check on the screen you have a capacitor which is zero zero so this is our main power rail so coming with the power supply uh here and we have a short but we have no idea what is shorted because we don't have a thermal camera because we like the we like the hard way <laughs> so this is a bit of petrol yeah and i can't see anything i can assume we have a short here because here is the screen i'll put the backlight and i can't see anything i can see some movement there look so why did that is moving so one second the power i can't see the power Uh, power on, off, on, off, huh? No? I don't think is there anything. Nah, it's nothing here shorted. Can be here something. Let's see. Maybe we can figure it out just by touching the board. You know what? So one second, yeah. So this is plus. Look on the voltage, zero point thirty two. And this is ground 0 0.80. Okay, that's right. Okay, no, we are fine. We are fine. The shorts are funny. To, are 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 funny to you know? It's a funny job. It's it's it's, it's interesting. Okay, let's raise the current. Let's raise the current to two amps. And it's nothing there.
Ay, 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 again, again, I burn my finger. So I burn my finger, you can't see it. There. Okay, let's see. And I said, you know, can be there. Let's check that. You can see how the petrol is moving. So which one it is? I think that's the one, yeah? Yeah, that's the one. Now keep in mind the main power rail has a lot of capacitors, so you are fine just by removing the, the, the faulty capacitor. Now if, you, if we are checking for short, yeah, taking the power supply again. Ground. Plus, and it's not short. Yeah, it's not short. If I go on the, on the, on the connector, so here is short because it's ground, but here is plus and it's not short anymore. Okay? That's the thing. Fold found. Christy? Let me dry the board quickly. Yeah, put on a lock. <laughs> okay. Let's see about this one. This is stupid. So the part, charging port has a shield. Uh, the shield is behind of the hinge, and the hinge is behind of the motherboard, which is insane and crazy. Why are you laughing, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is behind everything, exactly. Crazy. And obviously, even the motherboard is behind of the battery. Wow, look at the battery, it's popping out. You know what, I'm not sure if I can put this battery back, and I don't think it's fair to put this battery back. I think we should let the customer know about uh, his battery. Look at this battery, it's like... I can't, no? It's not that bad, huh? No, who knows, but it's pushing, it's pushing the, the front. Uh, he really need another battery. He really need another battery. Let's take the connectors out. Power button ribbon cable. Okay, then we have the speaker connector. Here. We have one more screw here. I have the Wi Fi antenna. Okay, and we have the screen connector. But we don't have to. Huh? Well, let me check. I don't believe you. Let's check the phone. Huh? 
Serius? Hmm? Yeah. So the iPhone is working. iPhone is disabled. Uh, even the screen is gone. But well, it's done. Okay. Now we've seen a case like this. We all tell the customer the water damage to be fixed is that price. And we usually are charging. It's no point to tell you the price because if, if every country has a different price for this kind of job. But we are telling him, you know, if it's the screen, it's an extra money for the screen. So we are charging this money just to bring your motherboard to life. But obviously, it's a water damage. The screen can be damaged and that's a different, uh, different price, different story. Okay, so let's take the port out. No, let's take this. Uh... <coughs> On the water damage, we have a single price. That's the price. And uh, sometimes it's easy, like now. Sometimes it's a little bit more complicated. But the price, which uh, the time, the time which you are spending on the job, is not that much. So we took the port out, and you can see the port is destroyed. You can see inside. So the port, this port is gone. So what do we need? We need another port. <coughs> if we can find one. Okay, that can be funny. So actually we run out of ports. Hmm? Possible? Oh. Okay, that's insane. <laughs> I don't have a port, so the ports run out. <sighs> That's bad because this is an urgent job. Hmm. Let me try and figure it out what uh, what we can do. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, so we have to take out the port from a different laptop. No? Uh, but... Yeah, I found one. So we found a port here.
Actually, you'll think, okay, sorry, this is dodgy. You are using a second hand port. Well, a second hand port? <laughs> Don't laugh, Patrick. Don't laugh, man. <laughs> He's laughing. Uh, a second hand port is original. Yeah, the one which you buy new from eBay, that's that's a second, that's, it's a copy. Okay, keep in mind. But obviously, not many people know the HP, they are not selling charging ports on eBay. Yeah, Ash, I found one. Yeah, this, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has no screen, so I yeah, suppose yeah. it's for yeah, spares. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me take out this port quickly and uh, we can replace it. Okay. So this port is good, but the cable is longer. Well, that should not be an issue, yeah? I can, I can open this, yeah? Take this out. It's very easy, you know, if you have this port, you take this thingy, and you can take the glue out without uh, breaking the wires or the or the pins. You can see? So you have there everything. Oh, very easy, very easy. This glue. Okay? So you can see the wires and uh, you can desolder and move the wires here. But if this is already with a connector, uh, it's no point. It's no point to. It's no point to. It's just the cable is a little bit longer, but it's fine. So I have to put the port back. Yeah. You know, the battery. I have to reroute the cable exactly the same. We have to put back this shield. Hmm? Perfect. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, good. The hinge. So the hinge has this screw. This one or this one? No, I believe the other one. I think this one. There are some arrows on the on the hinge. Okay. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I don't think it's this one here. This one. This. And... Uh, And this one. Hold on. Now well, let's put a board back. Ash. Yeah, give me an idea here. A look at this customer battery. What we should do with this one? What's your opinion on this? Is battery swollen? Yes, yeah, swollen. Look, two elements, and it's pushing the touchpad. You can see? It's not our problem. Uh, Just tell him, make a note. Just make a note on the laptop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think those screws are from here. This one. And this one. A screen connector. Now we have a lot of connectors here, a lot. So first the Wi-Fi. Then the speaker Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. ninety nine P actually. Okay, the power button ribbon cable is back. You know, I'm missing something, or uh, what's happened with this screw? I don't think I opened this screw. It was missing. Oh, hmm? Let's put the board back. Actually, we didn't test it. We should test it, right? So, what wires we have here?
Good. Let's plug a charger and see what's going on. Is coming on or not? A plug a charger. We have the white light on the charger. You can't see it here. I see it's coming on. Yeah, it is coming on and working. So that's okay. That's okay. So what about the battery? Yeah, let's put the battery back and we should let the customer know. You know, his battery is nearly gone. I'll try not to tie the screws. Just a little bit. Let me see the back cover screws. So this is coming from outside, okay. Let me see if it's charging. Yeah, it is charging. Here we have two screws. Here the screw is from outside, okay. Here is from inside. It's not sitting there. Okay, that looks fine. So I think I think we are done. So these are from outside, this is from outside, from outside. So I believe everything is fine here. Yeah? Right? Yeah. All good, yeah? All good. This is from outside.
Okay, the 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 the, the speaker screw. Yeah. So it's coming from here. Kind of easy, you don't think? It's, it's nothing hard. This is a HP 15 dash. AH150NA So what happened? I think we used the wrong screw here. So this is meant to be here, and this here. Yeah. Okay, all good. It's charging. We have the orange light. Here it looks like the laptop took a damage before. Well, so dirty. Check here, check the, the back case. Oh, come on. Come on. Proper dirty. Oh, you mean oh if you want one take it. Like okay, it's loading the windows. Oh, th this is sick. So look, look at the. I don't think you can see. Like, it's. I can't even touch it. Yeah. If someone gives like a cold yesterday, if I'm about six or seven, someone told him to call today between nine and twelve. Oh yeah, yeah. So can you put it to? I think graphic card or something, but he wants to mail it from where. Okay. Yeah. One second. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. The job is done. Yeah. Bye.